so what did program block effectively did program block was effective in only providing you a race free sampling region where the duty executes first and the test bench executes later for sampling purposes what about driving purposes when you are using non program block variables which are your outputs correct non program block variables which are your outputs and you are using non blocking assignment statement that will still get executed in re nba region correct that will get executed in the re nba region correct re nba region is after duty isn't it so the duty will sample it in the next regions of simulation or it will sample it in the next time stamp correct so you are again driving ahead of duty so how is that program block solving your race issue between the design and test bench it is not fully solving it it is providing a race free sampling point yes i agree to that only for the outputs and for the sampling but not for the inputs and driving between the design sorry driving from the test bench to the design so what have we for that clocking blocks so you will see that everyone effect everyone using clocking blocks in our industry and it is by far the best and the most suitable solution to these race issues let's start the discussion by introducing clocking blocks so everyone please make notes clocking blocks separates the timing related information from the test bench first important point that we need to know about clocking block the first and a very important point that you need to know about the clocking block is that it separates the timing related information from the test bench why was clocking block introduced clocking blocks were introduced to avoid the race condition between the design and the test bench so this is the last solution to avoid the race condition between the design and the test bench i repeat this is the last solution to avoiding the race condition between the design and the test bench first in very log days what did we have we have active and inactive correct to if there is a race how to avoid use active inactive correct nb monitor we used to play around in only one of these four regions second we came to system verilog in system verilog what was the first solution what is the first solution in program block to avoid the race condition between the design and test bench program block right it does that there is no doubt about it but as i said only for the outputs and active sample but not for the inputs of the design that is output of the test bench then the second solution here is clocking block Pro program block provides an entry point into the test bench clocking block the discussion starts by saying clocking block separates the timing related information from the test bench so you are taking all the timing and putting it in one place i'll tell you what are the advantages and what do i mean by that later and second thing is clocking block avoids the race condition between the design and the test bench how it does that so the second point in program block was also that right it avoids the race condition between the design and the test bench how it does that by executing in reactive and reactive region but clocking block avoids the help avoid the race condition between the design and the test bench how it does that by providing input and output skews by providing input and output skews so first clocking block separates the timing related information from the test bench second it provides a race free execution between the design and the test bench clocking block or it separates the timing related information from the test bench second point i said was it in it avoids the race condition between the design and test bench how it does that by introducing skews what are skews we identified them there are two types of skews one for input one for output correct at the end of the day what are skews skews are nothing but delays for input the delay is before the edge of the clock 
for output it is after the edge of the clock when i say edge it can be any edge we have also established that either positive edge or negative edge you give, provide the sensitivity the um, the delay amount we provide it like this just before the signal name be, uh, as pound 1 or pound 2 right whatever is the amount of delay it can also be in terms of number of clock cycles as well i repeat it can also be in terms of number of clock cycles as well okay now with this change with this change clocking block purely for test bench purposes will there be any change in the dut there will be no change in dut okay and for as respect to the changes in the test bench in the test bench we have added two clocking blocks why we need two clocking blocks is because again going back to the discussion driver for driver the inputs are nothing but the outputs of the dut and for driver the outputs are nothing but which are inputs to the dut we have established that monitor needs to monitor both the inputs and outputs of dut so the monitor gets all directions as inputs monitor gets all directions as input so that is the reason we have two clocking blocks for the test bench that is the reason we have two clocking blocks for the test bench and that much we have established now what is how are we going to prove that it has removed the timing related information from the test bench is that now in our small example that we have we have a driver code as well as a monitor code now in this driver plus monitor code tell me what is the timing related information here what is timing specific uh, specific over here Uh, so display statements here and no, monitor first driver and first driver first driver yes, sir. okay so yes in driver, in driver sir, we are, you are uh, driving on every yes, positive edge of the clock that is your timing related information now the your driver see it is very simple but think about a case where you have a very complicated logic it is spread across now all you want to do is it's not just assume that okay it's not just one line here it's just one line one input but there are multiple inputs to the dut and multiple outputs from the test bench you want to change all of them from positive edge of the clock to negative edge you have to make that change in multiple places right you will have to make that change in multiple places now how to avoid doing that is by using clocking block okay first is the sensitivity to the edge very simple sensitivity to the edge and again one mistake tabish why have you not updated the monitor i don't see you update the monitor here in the monitor you still have pound one i said right you need you need to use line number 48 49 50 51 52 you need to use that positive edge of the clock there okay and okay, you can make okay, a correction sir. quick make a correction while you correct that first thing guys while he makes that correction uh, okay yes okay so now first the timing related information that i am speaking about is this this needs to go away the highlighted lines needs to go away why it says that it is sensitive to positive edge of the clock i want to make sure that it is not tied to this I, I need a generic statement what generic statement here because you have already provided that positive edge of the clock in the clocking block sensitivity list right have you not you have isn't it we have yes, had positive yes, edge of the clock here in the sensitivity list of the clocking block so if we can replace that this statement if we can replace this statement that we have over here we just at this now will be gone and you will have a very simple statement at cb underscore drv at cb underscore drv what does this mean this means at clocking block for the driver what do you mean by clocking block of the driver that is equivalent to saying at positive edge of the it is equivalent to saying at positive edge of the clock 
Why at positive edge of the clock? Because there is at positive edge of the clock. Can we have at negative edge of the clock? Yes, you give at negative edge of the clock over here. All the places where you are using this CB underscore drive, all the places where you are using CB underscore drive will automatically become at negative edge of the clock. So now this proves our first point that it separates the timing related information from the test bench. It has separated that sensitivity at positive edge or at negative edge and we are using one very generic statement called as at CB underscore drive.